In this video, you will learn how to perform a titration. First, mount a burette to a stand by pinching two clamps together and releasing to hold the burette. Next, place a waste beaker beneath the burette and a funnel on top of the burette. Carefully pour a sodium hydroxide solution through the funnel. The solution should be poured above the 0 milliliter mark, but should not be overflowing. When the knob is turned parallel to the burette, the burette is open and solution will flow out. When the knob is turned perpendicular to the burette, the burette is closed and no solution will flow out. If the knob is turned so that the burette is only partially open, the solution will come out in a dropwise manner. Expel enough liquid into the waste beaker so that the sodium hydroxide solution comes down to the zero milliliters mark. Using a pipette, transfer the specified amount of hydrochloric acid solution into an Erlenmeyer flask and add a couple of drops of phenolphthalein indicator. Replace the waste beaker with the Erlenmeyer flask and be sure that the tip of the burette is about halfway inside the flask to prevent spillage. Add the sodium hydroxide solution to the hydrochloric acid solution in a dropwise manner. You will notice that eventually the drops will turn a pinkish color when they hit the hydrochloric acid solution. When this occurs, have your partner gently swirl the flask and you will notice that the pink color will completely turn clear once again. When the pink color begins to linger, slow the addition of sodium hydroxide to one drop at a time. Add one drop, swirl until clear, and add another drop and repeat. Eventually, the solution will stay light pink even after you swirl it. At this point, the titration is complete. Note the measurement of the sodium hydroxide in the burette. This signifies how much sodium hydroxide was used for the titration.